Hello everyone. Here we will discuss about the requirement of linear algebra in machine learning and deep learning. The linear algebra is the branch of mathematics that is focusing on linear equations. The linear equations are frequently applied to the science and engineering domains specifically in machine learning and deep learning. In the machine learning, the uh, equations are used to represent the predicted output in the form of linear equations. Here, uh, the uh, weight parameter and um, the given input data is represented by using the linear equations for example w0 x0 so here w i that means all the w's are represented as a weight parameters here the w0 is the bias and x x x i all the x i's are input into the uh, machine learning model or deep learning model. The linear algebra is playing significant role in the uh, domains of mathematics like uh, geometric applications like spatial information and functional analysis. The data in the machine learning and deep learning is represented by linear equations which are presented in the form of a matrix or vectors. So here the linear equations here which is given and and the values are represented for your ex, uh, repres for your uh, re example uh, the 0 0.5 uh, 1.2 0.7 0.3 are the parameter values and input values are not represented here the operations uh, using the linear algebra is applying on the image processing such as cropping the images, scaling the images that means zoom in, zoom out, uh, enlarging the image or compress the image and sharing the image. So uh, this kind of uh, process can be uh, applied on the image by using the linear algebra uh, uh, with some notations and operations. Here the sum of mathematical objects are needed for deep learning and machine learning here first object is the scalar second one is vector object and the third one is the matrix object the scalar objects are just uh, numbers uh, that means integer numbers or floating point numbers which are having only the magnitude and does not have any operations uh, i mean uh, directions so here uh, example is given this is one of the uh, plot for a linear uh, equation when you are uh, varying the x value automatically y value will uh, varying so here uh, we are using only the uh, scalar values like integer numbers or floating point numbers 2 comma 4 comma 4.1 or 5.1 like that so when you are varying the value it will vary depends upon your uh, equation f of x equal to um, minus uh, x like that so when you are um, varying this the only you will get uh, the scalar values you will not get the direction for that particular value the scalar values are commonly used to denote the quantities such as temperature, uh, time, mass or distance uh, values. Any single value from the data set would be uh, would represent a scalar value. For example, data set is given here. In this one, the data set is having only one feature. That feature uh, variable is here x1, which is representing the feature name is bedrooms. The sample one is having the bedroom value 3 and output value is here. The price of that particular uh, or rental for that bedroom is uh, here uh, 1000. And the sample number 2 which is having uh, uh, two bedrooms and which rental is 0 0.5k uh, uh, and like that the sample number n which is having four bedrooms here we are representing that uh, 5 Okay, right. So, like that, uh, the if the data set is having single feature, then that values of that feature value, or the feature is considered as a scalar value. So, that is represented in this data set. If you use any uh, uh, Python code in the Jupyter Notebook or Spider, you can use uh, to print the bedroom values. The This is the uh, data frame name and the feature name and we are uh, giving the values of that uh, 
first feature okay so that is given here the value is here zero that is first feature and first row right so this is giving the scalar value which is not having direction and another one term in the scalar object a learning rate which is represented by using the notation alpha uh, which is determining the step size using the optimization process of training process in deep learning model mostly we will use the alpha value will be 0 0.01 or 0 0.001 or 0 0.001 or 0 0.05 etc mostly we will use the uh, value of alpha between 0 to 1 and which is controlling how quickly or slowly the model is adapting to the training data adjusting the learning rate will influence the converging speed of the particular deep learning model or machine learning model then we are having one more uh, term which is active function which is represented by using function of some formula we will give based upon any activation function like uh, sigmoid or relu or leaky relu or uh, tan h like that which is uh, taking the scalar value inputs and apply nonlinear transformation to introduce non-linearity in uh, neural networks here the input will be scalar value and also output also produced in the form of scalar value so that's why it is called scalar valued functions which is playing critical role in enabling the neurons in the network to learn complex patterns and its relationship in the given data set for example when you are using the sigmoid function 1 over 1 plus e power minus z equal to uh, this is giving uh, the scalar value 0 0.6224 like that all the activation functions will produce only the scalar value that means which, which is not having any direction and the another one uh, scalar object is bias term we are using in the deep learning and machine learning models uh, here which is included in each layer of a neural network and also the value of the bias is the scalar value which is added with weighted sum of inputs that means we will have the equation like z equal to w0 x0 uh, plus w1 x1 plus etc wn xn so here the w0 is the bias term so which is added with the uh, the input values and weighted sum of that values then we will use the activation function here the z will be applied to the activation function for example sigmoid of z equal to 1 over 1 plus e power minus z that's what we are using when you are applying that input uh, bias input into the bias input and the bias value to the uh, 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 sig uh, sigmoid activation function which is allowing the neuron to learn offset or shift from the origin that is what it is uh, giving the patterns right which is uh, using to uh, capture more nonced patterns and improving its expressive power that means here when you are using the bias term you look at that it is used to learning complex patterns like nonced non patterns so, so these are all one kind of nonced patterns which is giving for your reference and one of the metric here we are using confidence score in classification uh, which is also producing the scalar value which is used to uh, give the model's confidence when it is predicting the value for example you look at that here the there is a symbol available in the road the autonomous vehicle when it is moving over the road uh, which is uh, identifying the symbol the symbol is indicating there is a danger uh, turn is ahead so go slow that is the meaning so this is predicted with confidence score of 1.0 so the confidence score is uh, giving the model how much it is believing the score right believable score 1.0 uh, or 0 0.5 like that the range of this confidence score is probability value which is uh, having 0 to 1 which is useful to making the decision either go forward or uh, apply the brake to that vehicle so the confidence score is also using scalar value to 
uh, give you the model's performance. Like that, we are having uh, so many metrics like uh, precision, uh, recall, uh, uh, F1 score. So all the metrics are ha using the scalar value in uh, deep learning and machine learning uh, uh, process. Thanks for watching.